Today I'm gonna do the five things I've liked the most, at least after just one week of ownership. So, and we're gonna just dig in into what I like the most. And the first thing is, I am gonna talk about just the look of the car. And I do like the look of the car. I think it's scrunched or short. Mostly what I like is uh, this color. It's a unique color. I think they call it ice blue. Most of what I see on the, the road today is you know, black, silver, and, and white. And I figured I was getting an EV, so I'd go with a nice pop, nice bright color. And I really like it. Along with the outside color, color I think it goes really well with the inside. And we went with the gray and white interior. I really like how that looks with the blue exterior. You've got the white inlay here with the gray. And I also like just that other little pop of color here with this yellow stitching, which is just neat. They didn't have to do that, but they did it. And it just adds that pop of color. And I, I really like that. I really like that. On the door panels, you have white as well with the gray, just to break up the, the gray that's all over the place. And of course, back seats are the same. Number one, and this is our, these are in no particular order, just the color in general. I like how it has a little sparkle to it in the sun. Number two would be just cargo room and capacity. For a relatively small vehicle, if you come and look over on this side, I laid the second row down and it's pretty flat and Honestly, this would be plenty good for a Costco run uh, for a family of five. And I'll, maybe I'll make a video on that next time. Just how we can fill this up with all of our Costco groceries. But with the seats down, it has, it has quite a bit of storage. Even with the seats up, you can use all this space. And with the seats up, you even have more room below. So last week, we had a Father's Day thing and we were bringing a lot of the food. So I put all the drinks down here that we were bringing. And then up here, with the seats up, put all of the groceries. And it worked out perfectly. So number two is just cargo space. And even under this, under this space, when if we're going anywhere further, that's where we put our charger. So number three is charging. Not DC fast charging, but regular charging. Because after the trip, I'd usually stop at the gas station or have to go get gas. But instead, I just drove right home and plugged in. And that's really one of the big advantages of an EV. And so just for a moment, I'm gonna talk about the experience of getting this set up here. And I cannot believe how easy it was. So I bought the car on Friday. Before I even left the lot, I already had an email from Q Merit, which is who Chevy uses as their kind of middleman between Chevy and the local electrician. Had that email, on Friday, checked it on Saturday. Basically, Qmerit sends you to a website. So Saturday morning, I basically took pictures of the garage and sent them in to Qmerit. And by Saturday afternoon, I had an electrician call me saying they were the ones assigned the job and they could come out and do it. They were ready to come out on Monday. I couldn't do Monday, so they came out Tuesday morning, did the job Tuesday morning, came out at eight, done by about 9.40 and we were set to charge at home. We made a new charging connection here and I didn't want the charger over on this side. And so he ran it up along our garage and that was all included. Not a penny out of my pocket. And that's a major benefit. So home charging is number two. Obviously not everyone can have home charging and that may be a factor into whether you buy an EV or not. But for us, that's worked out really great. So number four, is honestly just the technology package that's included with this car and everything that's kind of come with it. I get in the car, I don't pull my keys out. I don't need to pull my phone out because I right away am connected to Apple CarPlay, either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto wireless. I have a charging pad right there that I can put my phone on. We have heated and ventilated seats, which is great. How many cars can you get for 33 grand with ventilated seats? You know, and I thought, oh, maybe it's a gimmick. I actually really enjoyed it. You know? And if you get the rebate, now you're looking at a sub $30,000 car with leather seats, ventilated seats, heated seats, a total package. Uh, not only that, but this screen, 
super responsive, no delay. You can go to your phone app, but with Apple CarPlay, you've got everything right there. The energy screen is great. Shows my average over the entire time that you've had the car. But while you're driving, you can see the flow, details, impacts, what's, what's hurting my range. The technology is amazing, um, but part of that technology is just the cameras around this car for the price. When you have a full 360 degree view, you've got a, a very clear front facing camera, super clear rear view facing camera. You've got a bird's eye view back, bird's eye view front if you want it, side view of the car, and then you split view. So you have a bird's eye view and the backup camera view. It's great and how clear it is. Maybe I just haven't had a new car in a while and cameras in cars have just improved this much but I can't believe you get wireless Apple CarPlay, uh, integrated charger in the car. And on top of these cameras, my rear view mirror can be a mirror, but I always keep it in camera mode because it's so clear and so nice. They just included so much tech in this package. So number four, and probably kind of why I leaned towards this car is just how much they threw into this car. So honestly, for the price, the package you get in this car is really great. Now, number five is probably my favorite thing about this car, and that is the one pedal driving. I cannot believe how nice it has been. For me, with EVs now, the one pedal drive has to be done well. If I ever look into replacing our van with an EV, that's gonna be one of my top consideration is how well does one pedal driving work in the car I'm looking at. I drove this car off the lot in one pedal driving mode and it's just activated with this button right here. One little press and it's off. Super simple and easy to turn off and on. And I drove it off the lot in one pedal driving mode and it took me from the lot to home to get accustomed and used to it. And that was about a 15 minute drive. It is great. With this one pedal driving in the bolt, you slowly let off the accelerator and letting off the accelerator is like slowly pressing on the brake. Now, I didn't know when I first got it how fast that would happen. And when I first did it, I'm coming off the accelerator pretty quickly because I'm used to coming off the accelerator and then having to slowly press down on the brake. So when I pulled off at first, it was like, oh, the car stops. It's ready to stop instantly right away. And by the time I was home in 10, 15 minutes, had it down. I was so impressed by the one pedal driving. It implemented well on any future car I look into if I'm gonna, gonna be an EV. It was such a nice feature. And the bonus on top of it is when you're using it, you're getting regeneration back. And I drove my daughter to her school and back the other day, drove five miles and my range did not drop at all because of that regenerative energy that I'm getting back. I basically drove four miles for free. That's just an amazing feature in this car. My understanding is that other EVs don't implement it as well as this one, but this is, this is the one I know from use and I really like it. So those are my five key things. What this car has really done for me is get me excited for future EVs. For now this car, for the use case scenarios that I have for it, those five things are great. Those are my five top things right now after a week of ownership. Thanks for watching.